All oh, right, those of you who are interested in seeing me finish this journaling page, I'm going around with some matching colors to my inks um, that are of my Lyra watercolors, and I'm just picking up some great um, little edging there and shadowing and kind of mixing of them. So I have the green and the pink and the brown um, here and with my water brush. And then I'm going to go through and seal some of this because I don't want, this isn't some of these labels that I used, um, uh, you know, don't have the greatest glue on them per se, so uh, I want to make sure they don't peel up. Um, get a little bit of pink going here over the tape that we made in the uh, video that you can check out about how to make these tapes yourself using things you already have from your stash and um, yeah, this be faster with a bigger brush but this is what I had <laughs> um, like so these are the Jane Davenport uh, face stickers that I have and I keep them in a little uh, DVD case there and I can find a block that fits to make that work. Okay, I've got some archival ink here in sepia. And because we're on a textured surface, I want to make sure I get that down nice and there. Okay. So it's nice once you have that down, you can go ahead and kind of finish her out. So if you're uh, the kind of person who's kind of nervous about uh, faces and whatnot, this is a good opportunity for you to use her face stamps. I think Diana, Diane Reedley has those as well, so I'm going to get a few different colors from my watercolor to get close, there we go, to get closer to that sepia, and then um, finishing like that, just simply giving her some hair. your journal so you can do however you want that and leave, leave some lines in there for texture so it's nice about the watercolor crayons you still you can get um, the watercolor look but you can also leave some lines in there for her hair and I'm just following the same motions that I made to make her hair Okay. Blush. That's too much. You can lift that out a little bit. And that gives her a little bit of blush there. Some shading. Okay, I've got a stencil and some cucumber crush that I thought would go well with this because I wanted to bring in some texture here. So I'm just going to kind of go in different places and just kind of bring in some of that pencil motion here just to kind of I don't know, just is fun to play with. It gives another element of layering that's very easy to um, to add. I'll go for this spot there. Like so. 
And then you have all that ink on there. You can turn that around and rub. And get some blotches going. I have some words that I've printed out in different fonts from my computer. If I can... Um, let's see. But... Let the light shine in. This middle one here. I just went in my computer and just typed out a bunch. And then, um, you can simply add them where you want them. Soft matte gel. I love, and this works as an adhesive as well as sealing in, especially this is just on printer paper. So, uh, not the best paper there, obviously. But we can still go ahead and put that down and then just seal it. And I'm going to go in with this uh, fine point sharpie, which is still a little bit bigger than I wanted, but I'm just going to go ahead and outline my little saying here. So it kind of sticks out. All that page done. So that gives you an idea of some different easy things. We just used some stencils, some tapes that we had made earlier, and some just quick things that I uh, went ahead and um, printed out and um, yeah, fun ways to add to your journal just with some watercolor and some stickers and things. So alright, these faces are helpful. If you're afraid of faces, these are great to practice on. Stamp them out and try to um, put them over some tracing paper, put some tracing paper over that and try to trace those and that'll give your hand some memory and uh, start getting you used to proportion and things. So that's a great, that's a great tool to get. So if you can't get anything else in the Jane Davenport line, I highly recommend getting those stamps, but, um, but all oh, it's beautiful. But anyway, all right guys, that is it for today. Thank you for spending your time in my art journal with me and I have a great day.